Today I'll be showing you how to replace commas with new lines. So if I had to do this manually, it would be quite the task. A lot of key presses. You can actually do this a number of ways. You can create a computer software to, or computer application to uh, replace place, uh, commas with new lines. Uh, obviously that would be reinventing the wheel. You can use macros, Excel, but today I'll be using Microsoft Word because it's readily available. I think most people have it. We'll be using Microsoft Word and using the Find Replace feature, Control H. So the first thing you'll do is press Control H. And I do not have it set up yet, but what you'll want to do is you'll want to first find what in the first line with a comma and you want to replace it with a caret p. So press the shift button and 6 together and that will give you a caret and p. That's it. You replace all and now you have a nice document separated by new lines instead of using commas. So I'll do that once more again. Here's my, do my document. Press control H to go into find and replace. Under find what, press find, press comma to find, and then to replace, you would use caret p, which is the new line character from Microsoft Word, and click on replace all. Now, if you want to reverse the process, you can always press control z, or if you didn't do this beforehand and you need to reverse it, you can use find what as caret p so find a new line and replace it with a comma there's only one problem with doing that there might be other problems like spacing you can always add spacing into replace with but the very last one that entered for the comma will have an extra comma so you'll just have to go there and delete it so pretty snazzy I think it's pretty snazzy way of replacing new lines with uh, commas 